underneath stuff. Not necessarily all the stuff that everyone might think you need, but you know, they will need stuff. And Zoe um, is doing swimming lessons so her hair is and is in chlorine like several times a week and we just have to make sure we you know take care of it so she just got it washed and I'm just gonna put it in a protective style I find that it's easier when it's in braids and stuff and she can just catch it up it's easier to rinse out so that's why we're gonna take care of it and get that in a protective style before swimming rolls here's around. that boy Savvy, are you being gentle? No. Yeah. Yeah, so be gentle. gentle. Give, so, give Gabriel a kiss. Mm -hmm. kiss. Give Gabriel a kiss. Okay, <laughs> yeah, you give him a kiss. He's like, yeah, not right now. Are you hungry? You want to eat something? <laughs> He's looking at it. She knows we have to go. She knows we have to go and she's standing there reading. <laughs> Anyways, hey fam, Sarah here coming back at you. It is, it's been a busy week y'all. I haven't vlogged much but I still actually have a few, a lot of footage from stuff that I've been filming throughout. Why do I feel like I can see? Okay, there is something there. I can feel like a reflection of something. I am getting ready to take Zoe to swimming and Every day so far, it just worked out. Out of the fridge, please. Out of the fridge. Okay. What are you looking for? 
Do you want this? Okay. Okay. Do you want this? But we're getting ready to go. Like, it's the worst times that. Okay. Yeah, so like I was saying, we're getting ready to go to swimming, and I've literally packed up, and I'm ready to go out the door, and now he wants, now he wants all the things. He wants to sit down and camp out and eat. <laughs> when I say boys eat, mm. this little boy has an appetite, so... He's forever doing this, just eating and eating. Mmm, is that good? <laughs> so anyways, I was saying that it is swimming, so we're actually going to head out right now. And I've been so lucky to have um, Mick and Dad show up with me, but none of them were available today. And it just so happens that these kids hey. had like this special program at school called a buyout or whatever. Oh yeah. I could hate on it all the time, but it's actually going to be... It's gonna serve me good today <laughs> so so what that basically means is that they pay two dollars to get out of school and I guess they're not marked absent yeah I have to go to this diversity day thing. when I was growing up going to school was uh, if you missed a day it was like hmm you know exactly all of a sudden you guys are paying to miss days yeah, yeah they schedule stuff around like they interesting Hmm, interesting. Anyways, we're about to head out for that. So I, I never can film at swimming just because it's just, you know, it's just one of those things. And I, I mean, I'm also trying to watch my kid as well as keep an eye on the little one. And it's just that area. Like, I don't think other people want you to film their kids. It's kind of hard to film your kid without filming everybody else's kid. And I respect that. And I kind of like other parents to respect that too. Because I don't like other people filming my kids like that either, especially when they're in like swimwear and stuff like that. So no. But yeah, throughout the weekend, hubby tried to just build a banquet at home and then we just kind of took it easy for the most part, trying to clean up our house. All the girls cleaned their room and was decluttering. I don't think they're completely done, but everyone was just decluttering a ton. So we did use, we did make use of the weekend by cleaning up quite a bit. So it was very busy. And then after that, we just kind of jumped into the week full fledged, having missed a day. So we are, we did soccer and here we are with swimming today and i'm really glad because it's the last activity for the week and i'm just like ready to take another break yeah but i'll see what else i do today today i do have plans to go to the garden center i want to grab some garden some plants from my backyard i was kind of waiting but it's hard i was waiting for heavy but at the same token like you know he's busy with different things too so i know he likes to participate in that kind of stuff but i'm gonna be in the area where the garden center is so okay so um yeah so i do have plans to kind of stop by the garden center that is an idea. Well, it's not an idea. It's a plan. I want to do that. And then I, and today's still busy because I have to come home to wash Zoe's hair from swimming, you know, the chlorine and just, yeah, yeah. I have her hair in braids today. I kind of did it in braids. Come here, Zoe. So I did her hair in this braids on the weekend. Do you turn around? yeah like this it's very simple huh? nothing major she does have a clip in there you are you gonna keep the clip in for swimming <laughs> fix your clothes she just threw on her dress over her swimsuit because that's what i do on days like this where it's hot and when we get there it's just boom so when we get to swimming it's literally like boop, and we're ready to go like no hassle so probably so guys i um swimming's been done for a minute and then we stop and grab some food and then I realized I didn't even have my bank card, so I had to drive home to get my bank card because I wanted to stop at the garden center, but I didn't have the card that I wanted to use there. So I ended up coming, I ended up going back home and now I'm stopping at the garden center. So I'll take you guys with to see some of the plants that I want to pick out. This is primarily for my backyard and like, you know, just to decorate it a little bit. So I'll ho hopefully I get to see some things here. And I have this section in my house where I'm actually trying to grow some plants. I'm so excited. I'm gonna be introducing you guys to someone special soon. But um, someone is my plant, <laughs> Jesse. <laughs> Wait, who is this? Who is she talking about? What was that? Who is she talking about? <laughs> Are you ready to go choose some plants? Yay! Yay! I want to choose it. Let me see. Can what? I choose some? You want to choose it? Yeah, can I? Are you afraid of the sun? That's why you don't want to look up? 
You should be wearing your sunglasses. You have plenty of them at home. Mm. Oh! They're looking so cute and summery. Can we even... What? Oh! Oh, oh, I want one of these. These yeah. are so pretty. Is this indoor or outdoor orchid? The bumblebee. Can you get it? Mom, you can get the bumblebee. Mom, you can get it because it's huge. It has lots of fur. It's like us. It's like I really love. Get it? Look at the bumblebee. Can you get it? Mom, you can get the bumblebee. Mom, you can get it because it's huge. It has lots of fur. Mommy. Mom, look at Ooh, these. I love all the greens. Oh, look at this, sure. Mom, look at these. What? Yeah? I prefer these this These are really one. cute. I prefer this one, Mommy. Why are these ones looking so dried out, though? Or they do. Maybe just they the look a little thirsty. Looking. These ones are looking kind of thirsty. Those ones? Mm -hmm. A lot of these. <laughs> I mean, <whoa>. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's just like the color scheme, though. Yeah. Pattern? Mommy! Yeah? Mom! Go red one. Oh! Purple. 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 Can I get it? Well, look and see, so you know which one you want for sure. I want this one. Actually, literally, oh. was okay. Oh, I love it. It's really nice. Oh. Hold the card. Hold the card. Oh. Ooh, these ones oh. are so pretty. I don't know which one should we. What else am I gonna bring? The mint smells so good, so lovely. Ooh, ooh, ooh! So you guys, I am back, and I'm going through. I ended up leaving a piles and piles of recycling from the weekend, which I was talking to you guys earlier about. Um, so I am back kind of going through it when we cleaned up our room We just kind of found bags and everyone just kind of dumped everything in a bag and dumped everything in like yeah in different bags So I'm kind of going through it to see if there's anything we can bring to like the consignment shop that we want to or Whatever we want to just donate. We're just going to donate So I'm just going through it real quick because I don't want to see these bags around in my foyer anymore They're taking up space, but I'm happy to have so many bags of um clothes getting I'm happy to be getting rid of so many bags of clothing that means our home will be a little bit more organized especially our rooms um we've also picked up a few stuff so we'll have places to put them it's kind of that you know with that motto out with the old and in with the new type thing I don't even know if that actually really applies let me know but you know what I mean kind of like getting rid of some of getting rid of a few things when you're trying to when you bring in a few others that way you're not just having piles and piles and piles of stuff around and you are just creating a bigger creating a bigger mess for yourself really yeah that's what we're doing real quick and the kids are in the backyard playing with charlotte at the current moment you can go you can pass through oh, okay. <laughs> mick is in the background <laughs> taking care of ants because we recently found out that we have basically we're dealing with carpenter ants which is something that uh, seems like a lot of people deal with all summer long. And we're and we're also dealing with those little tiny ants. I don't know what they're called. They're just like common black ants. So that's frustrating. I'm so excited. Can you have you ever felt this excited getting rid of stuff? I'm so excited. And the kids still say they have a lot more. And I actually still have my closet to go through because I didn't go through it a ton on the weekend. And and it's definitely gonna free up some room and free up some space. The front of our house is looking so much better. Don't you agree? I do agree. Oh my gosh, that front and then there's that overspill on the front area there. Oh nightmare central. Okay, so 
I'm getting all these swim stuff together because when we come back from swimming, everything is wet. <laughs> Towels and stuff are wet and they just have to kind of have to get chucked in the wash. And I still have to go wash Zoe's hair because we took a little excursion before um, perusing it, before coming home. So her hair is dry right now. Yeah, and dinner is still yet to be made. Mm -hmm. But I'm not mad. You know why? Because I just got rid of a whole giant bag of stuff and I'm so excited. I was telling my kids, you know you're an adult when you love to get rid of things. <laughs> you get excited when things are leaving your house. Piles and piles of things. Um, because it will just help to keep the place clean. My advice to you, especially if you are a mom who aspires to have a big family or if you naturally have a big family and you feel like your house is falling apart, you are not alone. My advice to you is limit what you bring into your house. It, it's easier said than done because we still struggle with it. I have a hard time saying no to the kids, which I mean I do, but I have a hard time just saying strictly no, no, no. I, you know, they still get toys, but we have the rule when they bring some in, we're going to get rid of some. And I constantly purge all the time. It's the thing you have to do. Purging has to be so deep rooted like in your mindset because it always has to get done. I'm purging several times, many times a year just to keep things afloat. And so, and I'm also cautious too of how many times I'm shopping throughout the year. I basically kind of shop for the kids throughout the season and for myself. That's kind of like what I do. But I'm so excited that we just got rid of things and I, I I, know we still have a far way to go and it always feels for me like, sometimes it just feels like, when is this gonna end? But the reality is I don't think it ever does. Not until when kids are moved out and all grown up and in their own space because when you have kids around, you're always gonna have, you're always gonna need stuff. Not necessarily all the stuff that everyone might think you need, but you know, they will need stuff and they will come with always having stuff around that you may not necessarily want to have in your space and stuff like that. But it kind of, kind of goes hand in hand with having kids. Yeah. But long story short, I'm excited that that happened. Now I'm going to throw in these wet things and get the ball rolling on supper because I don't know what we're having for supper yet. Since we've been home, I kind of went through that stuff real quick and now, now I'm tossing in laundry. <laughs>